my notes, I have the words death spiral. So I thought I'd talk about that real quick. Um, guys, if you're having to use words like crushed or smoked or uh, destroyed today, talking about any your trading, um, and this isn't a lecture as much as I'm speaking from experience because I've been through all the death spirals, which is why I'm so conservative and some of you call me patient now. I'm not really that patient. Um, I just learn through pain and I don't like pain, so that's why I don't rush into things anymore. I still make mistakes as I showed you today in RYL and GG. Um, so I still make mistakes, but I do not allow myself to go into one of these death spirals. And what I mean by that is uh, you lose on a trade. And so then you go bigger, uh, maybe on the same stock or maybe on another one. Maybe you go 3,000 shares because you just lost 500 bucks on something. So you take something else. Uh, say you normally trade uh, 1,000 shares. All of a sudden you're going 3,000 chasing stuff, thinking all I need is uh, 20 cents. Then I get $600 on my 3,000 shares, and I've made my 500 back. But what happens is you go 3,000 shares, and you lose 20 cents. And then and now you're, you're down um, 600 Plus your 500, you're down 1,100. So now you find yourself doing five or 10,000 share lots, um, not even on intelligent trades. And I'm not saying anybody did this today. I'm telling you what I've been through. Um, you find yourself doing five and 10,000, anything, doing stuff that you know uh, this is running, it's extended, but you know what? It might go up another 20 cents still. Let me just grab it here, and I'll be damned if it doesn't turn on you right when you do it, especially when you go big like that. Um, that's what I call a trading death spiral. And I have found myself in them and uh, make you uh, sick, to say the least. And then the next day you think, okay, now I really got to go big. You just can't do it. You've got to regroup, stop yourself. Um, you know, I used to work my way up uh, $150 a day, $200 a day at a time. And I could put together uh, 20, 30 days in a row of, you know, just, just stopping at $150, $200 a day gains. You know, nice nice little gain for not having to leave your house and then I would get into one of those death spirals and I literally give back a month or two of gains um, in a couple hours and I mean there's no worse feeling in the world and it makes you just not want to trade anymore um, and that's where uh, you know if you can learn from other people's pain and just never let that happen great um, but if you've been through it you know my advice would be uh, you know try to stick with the you know trade smaller and uh, try to just make money a little at a time. Every once in a while, we'll get a slam dunk, right? Where you'll, maybe you'll get in on a 30s setup, 1,000 shares with a 20 cent risk, and uh, that thing will turn up and then take out the high of the day, and, uh, and then have room on the daily, and then you can add on the high of daybreak, and you'll get your home run that way. You'll have 1,000 shares, maybe already 50 cents in the bank because you played it on a 30s, and uh, and then you find yourself adding on a high of day break, which might be a daily break. But every once in a while, you get one of those. And that's, that's the way to get a home run. Now, if I go in four or 5,000 shares on a high of day break, when you subject yourself to a pullback, um, in which case then you got to sell because you don't want to get killed, and then you watch it run later. There's so many games go on in your head that don't try for the home run. Every once in a while, you get a home run by accident. Or we'll take one of our uh, trigger prices, and you'll take a... Uh, You'll take half your position quickly, 15, 20 cents, break even stop on the rest, and you might get another dollar or two later in the afternoon on the rest. Maybe you've got, still got 1,000 shares left, uh, another 1,000 or 2,000 dollars on the second half, <clears throat> excuse me, on the second half, uh, and your stock's been at break even ever since you took half for 15 cents. Um, that's how you get your home runs, by accident, by following our methodology, quick profits on half, um, and hopefully getting lucky on the back half. And if not, you're out break even. So those do happen. I get those home runs by accident. But when you try to force the home runs, guys, um, it'll end up making you hate trading. And I know we all have one thing in common. We all love trading. I mean, it's addicting, but uh, it's dangerous if you don't control your emotions. Um, okay, that was just a clip that I had, <clears throat> excuse me, that I had on our um, wrap up from, I believe, last Thursday. Uh, it was basically audio. You had, you know, there's not a lot of video there. I know you saw a chart up, but it wasn't really relevant to the chart. Just a quick clip I took out of one of my uh, aftermarket uh, daily wrap-ups where I kind of found myself on a rant, but uh, several members said they really liked what I said about these uh, trading death spirals and uh, they thought they had some uh, merit to them. So I thought I'd just turn it into a quick video and um, let you know, you know, kind of how 
I've been there if you've ever been in one of those death spirals. And so that's why I am the way I am today. So that's all that was about. Um, we'll wrap it up here and talk to you soon.